What's up guys, 915 Mang here, hanging out with Tim today with his 125 gallon saltwater reef tank. We're going to do a complete tour today, we're going to check out his flow, we're going to check out the lighting underneath the cabinet, the sump, the livestock, the corals, the fish. Not only that, but he also has another build going on. This uh, 125 is going to be broken down soon and he's going to move everything over to the cube tank. Go ahead and pay attention on how big these fish are. Even the uh, green chromis were huge. They were big size, monster size. Um, you can't really tell, but if you kind of look at them compared to the tanks, the chromis are huge. All the fish were fat and healthy. This tank is beautiful. Hope you guys enjoy it. Kick back and relax, guys. The best this tank has looked in a couple of years. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't understand. <laughs> Other than dosing, going to dosing and getting a dosing pump and starting doing that and maybe just uh, having consistent levels in, in the water. I don't know what I was doing because, man, at one time, just about everything died. I, I mean, it's just nothing. I couldn't get anything to live in here as far as corals. The fish were always fine. The only thing that really la lasted through all the stuff was these green hairies, which I obviously I don't have any trouble with growing green hairies. They just they're just proliferate all over the place. Yeah, that was one of my corals I got from you, the green hairy. Uh, I've probably given away, I don't know how many of them. <laughs> uh, and it's just like those green star polyps. Uh -huh. I, I just, every once in a while I'd try, I'd bring home a, 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 a frag of those. i put them in a tank. They never would open up. I couldn't get them opened up. I definitely couldn't do anything SPS. Um, I just was totally well, you know, just frustrated. Good, yeah. Yeah, it's everything's going. You know, I got that. Just that rock with all those that red. Uh huh. I got a little bit frag from you on that. I don't know how that survived everything either, but enough of them survived. And but now, these? Yeah, now it just took off. <laughs> they just keep covering it up. Remember? Yeah, I need to start fragging a little bit. I don't know. You gave them to me one time, and uh, with something else. But that's I don't know when that's a couple of years ago, I guess probably. Okay. And that see those two. Letters. Uh, the, the leathers. <laughs> it's just like one day my wife says, Hey, there's something down there. It looks like and there's tiny little <laughs> nubs down there. And so I kept keeping the sand away from them and here they are, man. They come out. I don't know how they I have, have no idea how that happened. There Those must are have the been, only there must have been a little bit of a, the leather left on that rock or something, you know. So the frog spawn, man, I used to have a huge frog spawn in the middle. I mean, one time, I mean, it just, it was like, almost like every day, pilot, I mean, a, a head gone, a head gone, a head gone. They were just going and going. And finally got down to two, two little heads left. And I, so I kind of took them off the branches they were on, put them together on a rock, and they're, it's coming back nice too, you know, so. Your monopora, that's and it, Yeah, I like monies, but I never could, you know, I, I couldn't get anything in SPS to, to do anything in there, you know. The, the other thing that lasted good was these pallies. Oh, yeah, those nuclear. Nuclear. And I, for some reason, you know, you, you can know. see those all over the place now, but I, I don't know why they kept going. And those, that's supposed to be like a purple, purple but it's not. It, it depends on the lighting. It's, most of the time it looks brown or uh, maroon or something like that. But so, but now that everything's going, see, I got that. That Monty there, about two months ago, and it was just, you can see where the, it was raised in the middle, that's the size it was then. Javier, I think I got uh, that one, and I got Greenman over there. Some tiny zones right here going on. Yeah, they're coming back. Uh, everything's coming, it's like it, it's like it knows I'm moving to a new tank, and they're like, oh, you know, we're here. Um, but uh, I just picked that up, it's uh, uh, Elegance. Oh, I'm okay. elegance. It's a small one right now, but and the uh, uh, Favia next to it. I got that off the of internet sale, so. and that's supposed to be. Fa I don't know whether they're Favites or Faviites or, or how, what the correct pronunciation is for some of this stuff, but, but there, everything I put in there now seems to seems to do pretty good. Huh? Oh yeah, everything looks nice. And had uh, look underneath. Yeah, it's getting kind of a mess down there right now. I got the bubble mangus in there now, which is the one I'm going to put on the 93. <clears throat> this is that curve 5? Uh, 7. 7, okay. And uh, But the impeller went out on my Vertex Omega, mm -hmm. and so I had to start using that in there. I, I ordered it the other day. Those impellers are 
They, they charge an arm and a leg to those things. Man. For the Vertex? Yeah. Well, actually, and then the impeller went out for my CJ return oh. pump the other the last week it was. And that was just 59 bucks just for that impeller in there, you know. And so... Oh, but, uh, okay, so you fixed it. Yeah, I, I was using my, uh, that, that Vectra that I had in the time being. Uh, I put that in there. That worked pretty. The nice thing about the Vectra, man, I mean, it sounds pretty quiet. Like, this is pretty quiet, right? Yeah. But, man, it was just dead silent. I mean, dead silent. The Magus, the Bubble Magus, uh, that... Almost got one. It's, but. um, at first I didn't, I looked at it, and after having the Vertex for a while, I wasn't, I'm thinking, I, I don't know, man, this doesn't look so impressive, but it works good, and it's quiet, and it worked, it just started right out of the box. <clears throat> there never was any break-in time on it. Really? No. I mean, it just started right, right, right from the get-go, you know, take it, skimming really well, so. Uh, I think I cleaned that cup out, uh, two days ago, so. Um, so, so, yeah, I got a kind of <laughs> probably everybody's biggest probably got wire management problems, but uh, especially lately I've been. And then everything happens at the same time. One of the power supplies on one of my AI saws up there went out, so I had to get. I've been back in there messing with the wiring. And on that. AI took care of you on that? No, 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 no. <laughs> They're forty-nine bucks anyway you look at it. So. Uh, Okay, and that auto top of uh, stuff you made it? Uh, that's my, I've had that since since I've had the tank, you know, but, and then, um, which I'm going to use with the new one, that's what that box over there is for, you know. Okay. So I can take that right over there. You know, I had the, I got a bubble magus, I bought one used. You know, I still, ha I still have it. I got the uh, J-Bo or J-Bo. j, -Bo. j -Bo, whatever. And it was working fine, and then one day, boom, it just... I, it, it stopped working, and I looked at it, and the lights were off of it, so the power went out. So I took it out, and I, it was, it's got to be something in the power. I, I plugged it back in, it worked for a second, and boom, it was gone forever. And I never have been able to get it work again. So I bought, uh, bought that one used. Wow. But uh, it's okay. What? I don't really like it. It's kind of, it's not the easiest thing to program. That uh, J-Bo was really easy, to, I, you know. It really didn't take long to figure out how to program that, but anyway, I have this for now. I don't know if I'm going to stay with it or not, but it it works. What you know, consistently. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't have any problems with it, but. Um, and all your fish are moving over to the ninety? No, I got to find a home for this guy right here. For which one? <laughs> the the rat. That's yellow one. Yeah, he's just he's 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 gotten big and. I gotta find somebody who's got a like a tank at least this size, uh, so that he can go into. Uh, I mean, I really like him too. <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> yeah, and he, he just he's just not gonna make it over. Or? He's he's just too big. You know, he's not gonna have enough room. You know, to to kind of cruise around him you know, like he does over here. You need like five or six feet like he's got over here. So. I'm just basically going to find, if I find somebody to get him a good home, I don't you know, almost give him to somebody. Uh, but they got to have, they got to have sand. Yeah. And they got to, uh, and it's got to be something, uh, at least a five foot tank or something. And I'll almost let them have him for a future trade or something, you know. But, uh, oh, nice. A couple of inches of sand. This is the Ruby Red trigger system, right? Cube? Yeah. Yeah, so I, I don't know. I gotta get a light in there. Uh, Ooh, trigger nice. system. I had them do it a little. They have a standard 20 C uh, cube, 20 by 20, but I had a little bit more room, so I had them do, had them customize it, make it oh. a little bit longer. And uh, I just finished up all my plumbing. Oh, it looks good. And uh, I good. added a a. a a, a manifold, I guess, if you want to call it that. For gate valves, that's good. That's for my, to run carbon reactor, whatever, you know, so I don't have to run extra pumps in there. Have you seen the silicone tubing yet? Uh, uh no. Mm -mm. It, man, it's, I, I, I saw it on BRS. It's, it's really cool. I mean, I, I, I hope it works as well as it looks, because, man, I mean, you don't have to, uh, it's not, I mean, it's easy, it's really pliable. 
and it's not it's really easy to work with you know hmm. and so I hope how that, much was that uh, I don't remember and then it about a, that's uh, your skimmer stand right there I'm gonna no 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 I don't know what I'm, I had that before for oh, my okay. uh, stand in the other tank when I was using uh, bio pellets so I just put it in there and I may I don't know if I'm gonna run my BRS carbon rack gear in here or buy, or get a different one and sit it on that or exactly what I'm gonna do in there yet but, oh, that's gonna be sweet but I just don't want to put any more like now I've got a pump in there for and the other sump for for this and a pump for that I just want to try to eliminate all the yeah, well, yeah, you should have plenty of juice with the extra. So, and then having the ATO right and, the, and the ATO, uh, the uh, containers and stuff in that gives me, you know, you don't have much when you get to, to cubes, you know, even though this is a big one, you this don't is, have enough. Uh, you this don't is, have a lot of room on This is a 90 cube or? 93. They call it 93 gallons. So somewhere around 90 gallons. That's cool. I got the light. I got the radion light that, that I'm going to put on it. I've had that for a long time too. I'm going to try the uh, gyre, gyre. Yeah. This I is bought that I used to. I'm going to see how well that works in here. We'll see what that does. And uh, see what I can come up with on that. And uh, if, if it works, it's, it's great because you can have it back. To, I, I got it back on the back. And uh, we'll see, if it, see how, what kind of flow it gives me. And uh, see, what, how, see how that works out. So. Yeah, I think it'll do good. I, I like mine. I just thought, you know, I had it on my tank. That's, that's turned out to be my, that Naso, even though, I've, you know, I mean, he looks pretty good, but he's not the most attractive fish, but he's that's, just the coolest. He's the coolest I, fish. I like him. He, he's just the coolest, but you can get him, but like, he'll almost eat out of your hand. And I, he just. Does, but does yours only eat seaweed or does it eat everything? Everything. Okay. Everything. What I, I don't use, here's what I use, and I've been using this for a while. Uh, it's Seaweed Extreme, it's the pellets. Uh -huh. And uh, I don't have it in its original container, but it's like 60 something percent seaweed, like nori. Because I just, when you put this, <laughs> yeah, they make some a people mess. say it just makes a mess and ends up either in the overflow or down in the sump. But they like this stuff, oh, and nice. it sinks real fast, and uh, it's got just as much. Uh, I mean, it's almost like giving them the seaweed, but it's in a pellet form. It drops real fast. And they're going crazy. Doesn't go. Yeah, they like it. As a matter of fact, just about all of them like it. So uh, the maybe well, even he eats it too. I was going to say the flame, but they, they all eat it. It's like sixty-eight percent seaweed and something else, but it's uh, <laughs> it, you know, it's so crazy. you don't have the mess. You know, they get it all, and it just uh, so I used to give them. A little of this, you know, maybe once or twice a day, and then in the evening I give them the LRS. That's all. I really like the LRS, uh -huh. frozen food, a lot. So, um, it's crazy how big your chromas are. They're <laughs> almost as big as your tanks. <laughs> There's still one. You know, they <laughs> they don't beat up on him, but you know, he he's always kind of scared and stays away from the two bigger ones. The two bigger ones are usually fighting. I started out, I think, with six and. You know, they kind of kill each other. You know, it's always whoever's the smallest, he's going to. So I think I gave it away one just to eliminate the, you know, the, the drama in there, you know. But Blue Tang, I've had him for a while. He went to, uh, uh, you can see on his face, he's like he's scarred, like he's been through some battles. But I think he had uh, the, uh, what do they call it, the Lyme? Uh, Lyme? Lateral Lyme disease. Okay. But I started after I, I used Cellcon for a while, uh -huh. and that he seemed to perk. He never, but he always acted good. He, he still was healthy and stuff, but he just had this crazy stuff. It got one of his dorsal fins a little bit and on his face, but it's it's come back. I don't know if it'll ever come back as as well as it, like when he was younger, but uh, he's come back. He's always you know pretty healthy. I need to get some of that stuff. I saw that uh, Cyber Aquarius video with was talking about Cellcon. Yeah. And uh, but then uh, I think the, the LRS is actually supposed to have some of that in there. But LR, you know, I just use that. I used to use the rods, but I just like the LRS. It's like clearer, you know, doesn't cloud up the water as bad. And it's got different sized particles. And it's just you know, it's got all the garlic and everything else in it too. So I, I really like it. It it dissolves pretty fast in the water. And, Everybody seems to like it. All of them eat that. All of them eat this. So, 
and uh, I saw it on the internet, and they're doing these tests on it, and it clears up real fast. You know, you don't have to wait so long for. Yeah, uh, like uh, Caribsy. Yeah, so I'm take forever before it, but this one, you still need to, I think it says to rinse a little bit, but it's So, uh, now, it's caught, the, the, your trouble is that because it's high, you you're know. You're going to need a step stool, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you need a step stool to get yeah. in there. Yeah, I got, I got me one. I got a step stool that's like five, but, five feet tall. But I like to, you know, when you stand in front of the, you can see it, you know. Now, most, most of them, it'll be down about this high, mm -hmm. but, so. It's a trade-off, you know. I, it's, when, I was, when I was putting the rock in, I was realizing, yeah, that's, <laughs> I'm going to have fun with that, you know. Uh, but, you know, that shouldn't, once I get the rock in the sand, then we shouldn't have to mess with too much on the bottom. But there ain't no, there's no more reaching down <laughs> to get to the bottom or anything. You're going to have to have some grippers or something, so. Yeah, I use those Eheims and they're pretty nice. <laughs> Uh, oh, you have it, sir? Uh, but uh, it's it's only for little stuff. No. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I got to figure out what kind of what kind of work. Uh, some of the rock from there, I got to bring over. Some of it's got some of the corals. Most of the stuff I'll pull off the corals and bring. I'm trying to not to bring any nuisance stuff with me. You know, mm -hmm. So uh, we'll see what I can did, make out of it. Um, did this stuff come with any kind of uh, chemical to make it live rock or? No, huh? no, it's. It's dead. I just cured it for, you know, put it in and soaked it and I let it run with a pump and a heater for about six weeks, I guess, probably. Just, I don't know, just, and then I just rinsed it off. Open. So it gives you a little access, so, you know. Here and there, yeah. But, yeah, you also have that foam block right there. So maybe that'll help. <laughs> uh, still a little bit of a battle with cyano from time to time, but uh, I need to get one of these. The other disadvantage of a tank with no depth is trying to clean behind the rocks. You see that stuff back there? You know, I, I was looking at the SCA um, aquariums. I want the one fifty. Because, I mean, I have a 120, but the 150, I like that it's uh, 24 inches um, width. Yeah. And then 60 inches, you know, length. Yeah. That's, you know, I like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. That would be the, that's, what I, that's kind of what I was going to do uh -huh. before. I was going to go to, yeah. yeah. But, you know, you don't want your rocks against a wall, but, you know, if, if you give them too far, we're not getting this 125 with, that's all you, the width you got, the depth. Yeah, because mine is only clean, 18 then, inches and... So I just gave up on trying to clean behind. I'll get that back there as far as I can, but you know, I, there's only so much you can do. So that's another problem that will be solved in the in the cube. Oh yeah, you got plenty of depth. Oh yeah, I'm not. That, not that's like uh, what thirty? <laughs> yeah, it's thirty. So the rock is only going to go higher. Right, plenty. That's not going to be an issue. No. Uh, now you know the downside is, is obviously I'm not going to be able to keep as many corals. And, and fish, but that's also an upside because it means <laughs> less. <laughs> uh, but oh, that's cool. And double, you know, I mean, once you start dosing, I think I think you'll like it. You know, I think you'll. Yeah, I got the stuff to dose. I just. What really? You know what really takes me off? Is I got that shape <laughs> sitting back there, and I, I would pay like seventy something dollars for it, but I didn't get a guarantee or warranty. With but it. Uh, who'd you buy it from? I, Amazon. I internet, you know, come out of straight out of China somewhere, you know. Mm -hmm. So uh, <laughs> it's like I keep every time I go back to my computer, it's over there by, by my desk, and I go, you know, I could have it fixed, but I don't think I could have it fixed for seventy bucks. <laughs> Thanks again, Tim, for having us over. It was cool talking fish, looking at all the equipment, the lighting, the flow, but also checking out the new uh, cube build. Hopefully, we'll be able to go back and do an update video on the cube once it's up and running. Um, it's going to be a great video. It's going to be a beautiful tank, guys. If you have anything to say to Tim, go ahead and leave it below in the comments. Thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe, and you guys take care.